Your network is your net worth, said Tim Sanders. One, two, three! Now, what did he actually meant by that? Everyone is saying that you have to network, you have to have an amazing network because that's actually your net worth. And we actually know that as well, but how does actually networking work? What should you do and how can you do it? Basically, it's very easy. For me and my friend, when we started our first business, we went out in our local bars or just a nice hotel or wherever people get together and started to actually show what we did to the world. What is the best way to network? The best way to network, someone said that it is by not actually letting the other person know that you're actually just trying to network with him and just trying to build a connection. But it is by building a connection. The best way of networking is just helping the other person out or hearing the other person out. Just being an open ear for them. So what do I mean by that? I mean by that that you approach someone and try to make it as natural as possible. That the other person just thinks, okay, he might be just interested in me and my story. Because the most interesting part is that actually people just want to talk. They just want to have someone that listens to them, that cheer them up, that be like, oh yeah, you're so nice, you're so cool. And then after a while, if you see, okay, the ground funda foundation is there, then you can see and try to lead it into the direction of business. So what you can do is what I always did is I try to lead the conversation towards my business. So back then when I started my social media marketing agency, I told the other person, for example, I remember that once I talked to someone, he was actually, I'm not saying any name. So he was actually someone who was into photography for weddings. And then he told me about how he actually get to know his wife who was just sitting next to him. And then he just told me his whole story. So I was just listening without even telling anything about my business. Just being someone who would be generally interested in his story. And he talked and talked over half an hour. I was just listening, asking more questions, going really dive deep into that conversation, into his topics that he wanted to talk about. And then after a while, I was like, okay, so he's into photography for weddings. How do you actually get your clients? Do you do social media marketing? How do you advertise yourself? Personal branding, everything. And then after a while I was like, okay, he told me about how he actually got his clients. So he got his clients through mouth to mouth, to uh, friends, family. And I was like, what about social media? And you know, you understood what I actually just did there. What I did was actually being just a nice human being, being someone, being someone who's just interested in the other person, being interested in what he says, in what he did, in his story, in everything. And you know, after a while, it just becomes so natural that the other person is also starting to actually ask questions, you know, so you can just actually lead the conversation towards your business. And just getting back to that one example. So when I then ask him and trying to propose, propose my service to him in a very natural way. So what I did, I always, always, wait, I always have them somewhere. Okay, so I always actually have my um, business card with me. So what I do is, for example, if you're just in a conversation, nobody always want to pull out their pull out their phone and just start to type in their number, your number, and after a while they actually never reach out to you, you know. But what happens is, if someone if someone is taking your ID card, even after a while they look in their pockets and they find you, and there's everything written. There's my there's my business name. There's what I do. There's my number. There's my Instagram. There's my email. Everything, you know. And if they're really interested in that, they can reach out to me. Of course, it's better if you get their numbers, their ID cards, and then you can actually, you know, be active, be proactive, and then actually reach out to them. Because they have a lot of things in their mind and they might be not even reaching out to you, even though they want to, you know. So that's the thing. And basically for me, what I understood is just networking is so easy, you know. If you be like, okay, Shirak, how can I approach that person? He's standing there and I, I, I don't know how to approach them. It's very simple and it's of course different to each situation. But let's get back to, to another example. So I'm in a bar and I don't drink alcohol. So mostly what I order is either a coffee, coffee in, the, in the evening or a lemonade, a soda, something like that. And then in the bar people actually you can see, you can read their body language and then see, oh, do they want to talk? Or are they here to just enjoy the environment and not really into talking? So what I do first, I actually just try to analyze their body language. How are they sitting? Who are they with? 
are they actually open for a conversation all of that actually makes it may, way more easier you know and then analyze analyzing the body language after a while i'll be like okay he's actually very open he wants to talk to someone but there's no one around and since since i actually told you that networking is way more easier if the other person is not actually understanding that you're just trying to build and expand your network is by just showing interest you can go into the physical you'd be like oh nice this 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 you can give him a compliment which is a very very easy icebreaker you can just be something natural just for example i was standing outside and the view was very nice you know so it's just looking at the view enjoying myself not really approaching be like oh wow that's a beautiful view right so it's very neutral it's not he's not in a complicated situation that he might be actually nervous or whatever or be like oh what does he want from me it's very natural you'd be like oh what a beautiful view this and then are you from around here and just ask questions be like very natural be like oh are you from around here oh this and that and then he of course you can see do they want to talk or not and then after a while they build up the conversation on their own as well because everyone is talking you don't have to do the talking all the time people want to talk like i told you yeah so that's a bigger overview that's how you actually can network with other people and another tip so the third tip is to dress up get yourself a shirt get yourself a suit try to take attention try to actually use your body language for your advantage as well so what do i mean by that i mean if you get a suit if you get a shirt if you look good if you take care of your hair, if you take care of everything around you, if your physics are good, people will judge you right away. They'll be like, oh, he's a little business owner. Oh, he's a young entrepreneur. Oh, he's this and that. I don't want you to go buy an Armani suit, for example, you know, but you can just, it's very simple. I, I think I even talked about that in the last video is you can just simple dress up, like just get a suit, get a shirt and then see how people will treat you and see how easy networking is because one easy thing about networking is that if you have a common ground it's way 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 more easier to talk to the other person and he's way more open so if you're wearing a nice suit so e so often it happens even to me like i i could see based on what they're wearing based on how they talked and how they actually use their body language that that person is a very high educated high value person so he has not just a lot of money but he knows how to talk he's let's say 10 years in business you know and he approached me and be like wow i really love your blazer it looks very nice where do you get that from this and that and you know it's like people see you putting in the effort you know and that will switch their mentality as well they will judge you in a good way so use that for your advantage that's the third thing the th fourth that i wanted to talk about is very simple it is by loving yourself it is by enjoying yourself you know it's be open be okay if someone is not approaching you you know you have to embrace rejections it's very easy like you're saying something people don't want to interact with you it's okay because like they're losing you know they're missing out not you you have to switch that mentality to that and be okay if someone is like don't take everything too personal you know like everyone has their own problem so even if people actually rejecting you they might just have a bad day it's not because of you you know and just be like okay i'm alone and that's what i also did me and my best friend we always like went to bars and actually practice our networking so what we did is we be like okay before leaving this area which was back then a very quiet and almost no one was there and everyone was just with her friend like a two group or like a group of yeah like a group of two so very close and you know body language said don't talk to me and we'd be like oh we have to talk to someone because we co couldn't talk to anyone so i'll be like okay my best friend just be like okay i tried to talk to someone and you tried to talk to someone before leaving i'll be like okay yeah we can do that and then what we did is he actually counted to i don't know to three or to ten in his head and be like after that i would just cold approach someone without actually knowing because what happens is if you try to overthink everything true we'd be like okay if he says that i'm gonna say this 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 then you're so full of emotion that it doesn't really seem natural and you can't actually adjust on that point so what we did is we'd be like okay we just approach them my, my best friend is completely a uh, professional in that he just approached a couple and be like oh i heard you're from spain and just you know started a conversation and i was sitting there looking around looking at all these people 
and no one even looked at me you know they're all in their conversations i'm like how should i do that you know I, i didn't have that confidence to just approach people be like hey what's up you know even back then you know i was i'm actually a very introverted person you know i i switched that of course but i'm nat naturally a very introverted person i need to have my space i can't really just you know invades other people's personal space and be like hey what's up he he didn't do that but you know i was like i was actually feared you know i was full of fear and didn't want to approach anyone i was like no i can't i can't do that you know i have to grow and i know that this situation no matter how it turns out i will grow because i stepped out of my comfort zone and then this actually this first example that i told you with going outside looking at the view and then talking to someone was that approach was that approach hello so i think you can actually see that everyone is struggling and to be honest imagine you would go to a public place of course you will go there if you most likely are willing to talk to someone else so don't be like okay he might like no one wants to talk here you know and even if you get a rejection you will always learn like it's always you who's gonna learn so just trying to keep that in mind be like okay i always i always want to learn i always want to adjust so with that mindset you will conquer the world and i actually expand your network so try to use these tips that i gave you and i would say Don't forget to sow the seeds and I will see you in the next video. La, 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 la. I'm on by a hundred bags, be right here whenever you need me. I need you to know that your son's got your back. Like mama owe you everything, can you believe that? Everything, come and repeat that. And when I make a song, you give me feedback. I want you plant the seeds and then you reap that. Made a little money from trees. I'll